Easy now, people. We're going to be recharging our purage in here. So, what we need to do first is take the old purage out. Eee, look at that. Nice and brown and disgusting. Look. Means it's doing its job, but that's what we want. Pop that in the wee container. And what we're going to do is put out our new purigen. I already opened up the, the packet it was in. And we're going to rinse that out in a bucket full of tank water. Alright, once we're happy that we've rinsed it out sufficiently, we're just going to whack it in our filter again. There we go. And replace the top. That means that your new purigen, you put that in while we're recharging this. If you always keep two, you can do it in a cycle. The next thing we're going to do is give it a bit of a rinse. We're going to do it in the garden here because non-fishy people don't really like it when you get dirty fish stuff in their nice clean sinks, which is fair enough. I don't really like non-fishy people getting in amongst my tanks. Unless they're interested, if the kids are interested, get them involved. Last short, spend as much time as you can together, eh? Not really bothered about chlorine or chloramine getting into this now because we're going to put in bleach in a minute, aren't we? And then what we're going to do, we need some water. And we're going to go with about 200 millilitres. The important thing here is it doesn't matter how much, the important thing is it's got to be one for one. So if it's 200 millilitres of water, you want 200 millilitres of bleach. Just regular no nonsense bleach, you don't want the stuff that's got a scent to it or anything like that. Put the cap on nice and safe. We're going to pour that into our water. And then we're going to throw our purigen in. No, we're not. We're not going to throw it in. It's bleach. We're going to be careful and place it in gently like that. Then what we're going to do, this takes 24 hours this stage. So we're going to go and put it somewhere nice and safe where it's not going to get knocked over or anything like that. And we'll come back tomorrow. Right, 24 hours on. The bleach has done its job. It's a lot whiter than it was before, you can tell. I've got this rather attractive glove on here, look. It's because we don't want to get bleach on our clothes or on our skin so we need to be careful and we're going to give it a right good rinse out again we're not really bothered about getting any chlorine or chloramine into it from the tap water because they're sitting in bleach anyway isn't it we'll just give that a right good rinse before we move on to the next step so we've rinsed out our purigen and we've Disposed of the bleach responsibly. What we need to do now is get some tank water. Don't want to get any fry in there, that would be a disaster. Yeah, there we go. What we need is enough water just to cover the purigen. So I think that'll be plenty. And we're going to add in two capfuls of prime. Some people use one but I like to be ever so certain because this is basically going to neutralise the bleach, detoxify the chemicals. Give it a wee swoosh around. Any equipment I'm using by the way, stuff like this is for tank use only, it doesn't go in the kitchen or anything like that. We're going to leave the purigen sitting in there for another 24 hours now. Obviously we'll want to be certain that the prime has done its job. So we'll put that somewhere out of the way where it's not going to get interfered with or spilled. And we'll come back tomorrow. We're a day in again and the purigen has been soaking in the prime and water. Don't need to use prime, you can use any water conditioner, any dechlorinator you like, but we like prime it's not come out perfectly white this time what happened was when we set up the end of the fry tank 
it was heavily tannined and purigen can stain but doesn't stop it working efficiently and we're happy with that so we're going to give it a quick test going to give it a quick sniff go on smell that if you can smell any chlorine at all you want to stick it back in your primer water for a little while but we're happy with that and what we're going to do now then is get a ziplock bag we want some moisture in it because if it dries out it can break down but we don't want it drowned either and it's a good idea to label the bag this is the end of the fry tank and it's the first time we've recharged this purigen because you can recharge it up to 10 times and we don't want to lose sight of which purigen we've recharged how many times but once we've done that we completed the process and it's ready to use again I hope that's some help to you and I'm out later 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 later